Hi, welcome to 40 Fridays of Fundamental Science Experiments with Rohini. Do you know how a textile businessman became the father of microbiology? Anton von Leeuwenhoek was a textile businessman who once went to a city to buy some textiles and happened to see Robert Hooke's book on microscopes. And deeply inspired by that book and the microscopes demonstrated in that book or illustrated in the book, uh, Anton von Leeuwenhoek made his own microscope and started observing um, the fibers of the textiles for the quality. And his microscope, uh, to my imagination at least, is something like a watchmaker's lens and is made of brass plates with small holes in it into which he put a um, handmade or hand ground glass lens. And this uh, uh, instrument or this device uh, which is no longer than a few inches he kept close to his eye and on the other side uh, through which he was to view the objects he put it up to the sun and the object he put it right on the other side of the lens and pinned it here and when he held it to the light the light source highlighted the object here and he could visualize it through the lens on the opposite side. This is how, um, to my mind, his microscope was. And using this microscope, he observed seeds and he observed fruits and he observed um, insect mouth parts and he's also supposed to have observed ants and, um, and eggs and all that and even uh, spawn of fish and all that. So how did he become the father of microbiology? When he was observing pond water and all, he observed very tiny uh, moving organisms, which we now know as bacteria, but he called them as animal cues, tiny animals, which were moving. And he is also supposed to have taken out plaques from his mouth and then observed them under his microscope. And that was when he first saw those tiny animalcules, which is the beginning of microbiology. Thank you.